This is how to do Final Cut Pro transitions for beginners from start to finish. I'll show you where to find transitions and then seven tricks to add them to your video, including one that gets rid of that pesky, not enough media warning for good. I'll show you how the pros animate with transitions. And at the end, I'll hook you up with $138 worth of free transitions, titles, and effects. But first, in Final Cut Pro, you can open up the transition browser by going to Window, then Show in Workspace, and select Transitions. Or you can click on the Transition Browser button right here, or press Control. Control Command 5 to open it up. In here, you'll see a bunch of categories here on the left-hand side. And Final Cut Pro comes with a lot of built-in transitions. You'll see here I have a few categories like Geek Pop here. This is a plugin that I made, and so it has these cool transitions in it. And at the end, I'm gonna show you how you can get some free transitions I made. You can skim over a transition to see a preview of what it looks like. And if you want to find a transition, go up and select all, and then click down here at the bottom for search and enter your search term. Here's cross dissolve and there's our transition. You can also resize the browser if you need a little bit more room by clicking and dragging on the sides like so, or on the top. All right, the first way to add a transition is to just drag and drop it between two clips in your timeline. And here's what that looks like. You can also select a clip in your timeline and then double click on the transition you want to add and you'll see it adds it to both ends of the clip. If you want to add it to just one end of the clip, make sure you're using the select tool by pressing A and get this little cursor, this arrow cursor, and then select an edit point so that you get just this little end line selected and it's yellow. Now I can double click on a transition and it adds it to that edit point. If you want to add a transition to a bunch of clips at once, just select all the clips and then double click on the transition and it will add it to each edit point and the beginning and end. That's a really quick and fast way if you're making like a slideshow and you want to add the same transition between each picture. Just select all your pictures and then double click the transition you want to use. You can copy a transition by selecting it, pressing Command C, and then selecting another edit point and pressing Command V. That will paste the transition for you. You can also hold down Option and then click and drag on a transition to make a copy of it and drop it on your new edit point. You can move a transition just by clicking and dragging on it and moving it to the new edit point. And to get rid of a transition, just select it and then press delete. Sometimes when you add a transition, you might get this warning message here. It says there's not enough media on each side to create a transition. Would you like Final Cut Pro to move the media so that you can create a transition? Let's take a look at that. I'm gonna cancel it. And if I double click right here on an edit point, I can see that I am at the end of my clip here and the beginning of my clip here. I can also see because it's red right there. And if I click on this one, it's also red. That means I'm at the beginning or the end. So in order in order to put a transition there, I need to have media on either side. So there's a couple ways I can do that. I can press T and click and drag on the clip to the left and then click and drag on this clip to the right. And now if I double click on that edit point, you'll see I have some extra media here and here. I can also just click and drag while I'm in this precision editor to add more media to each side. Now when I add a transition, there's media there, it works, and I don't get that warning. And here's what it looks like if I don't have enough media and Final Cut needs to fix it. So I'll add my transition. It says, do you want to create a transition? Yes. You'll see down here it moved the clips when I said create transition. So Final Cut Pro has a default transition. If I select an edit point or a clip, go up to edit and then select add cross dissolve. Or I can press Command T to add that transition. Command T adds it automatically. So I can select an edit point and press Command T and it adds it. Notice here that the transition was shorter than this one. That's because we don't have enough media here. You can see here that the beginning of this clip is right here. I don't have any extra media over here on the side. And so Final Cut Pro adjusted the transition duration to fit with whatever I had available. But don't worry, I'll show you how we can adjust a transition duration in just a little bit. To change your default transition, find the transition you want to use. Let's try this slide. Right click on it and select make default. Now when I select this, I'll press command T. It adds a transition, but it's not the cross dissolve. It's that slide transition. To go back to the cross dissolve as the default transition, go up to the dissolves category, right click on cross dissolve and select make default. You can adjust the duration of a transition by clicking and dragging on either side of it. I'm gonna make it longer by dragging to the right or shorter by dragging to the left. You'll notice that I can't drag it anymore and this left-hand side is red. That means I've reached the end of that media, so I can't make it any longer. I can also select a transition, press Control D to bring up the duration controls here. This is the time code, and this is hours, this is minutes, this is seconds, and this is frames. So if I want a one second transition, I'll enter one, zero, zero, and press enter. And the transition automatically changes to one second. Transitions have default durations as well. When I add this, it's a one second transition. If I wanna change the default duration of my transitions, I can go up to Final Cut Pro and then Settings or press 
Command comma to open up the settings. Go to editing and down here you'll see durations and transition. It's set for one second. Let's change that to three seconds. I'll double click on it, press three and then enter. Now I close this and when I add a transition, you'll see that the default length is three seconds. When you have a transition on two clips, it's hard to move the edit point between the two clips. Sure, you could delete the transition and then press T to bring up the trim tool and move your clips ends and starts around, but then you gotta add the transition back. So with the transition added, press T and then hover over the middle and now I can click and drag and I can change the edit point. I can move it around and the transition moves with it. So some transitions come with on-screen controls and published parameters you can use to customize the look of it. Go down to wipes and let's add chevron to our project. Select the transition and you'll see we have some on-screen controls up here. I can change the direction of the transition. I can also change the strength of the transition. We'll make it kind of sharp like this. And let's go down. If I hold shift, it will snap into 45 degree increments. Here's what that transition looks like. If we select the transition and open up the inspector by clicking this button with the three sliders, we can see we have some published parameters here we can use to customize the look of it. And these are connected to those on-screen controls. I can quickly change the direction and I can also change the edge treatment. Instead of making it so harsh, we can make it softer and we can add a color if we want and even change that color. Let's take a look at that transition. Have you seen some transition tips or tricks that you like? If so, will you give this video a thumbs up? That way YouTube will share it with other people. Thank you. Coming up in just a bit, I'm going to show you how to get those free transitions. But first, I want to show you how to animate with transitions. You can also edit your transition with the precision editor. Double click on your transition and it opens up this view here. I can click and drag on my clips to move them around and change their start and end time. I can also click on the transition and move it around to change when the transition starts and ends. I can also click and drag on one of these endpoints to change the duration of my transition. When I've got it how I like, I can press escape and we're good to go. All right, I've got this logo over my video clip and right now it just comes on screen and then goes away. I want to animate it in a cool way and transitions are the perfect way to animate it quickly. Go to the movement section or category in the transitions and go down here and let's find spin. I'll drag and drop spin onto my logo and you'll see it added a transition at the beginning and at the end and it also put it in a special container. This is called a storyline and it's connected to our primary storyline here. If I play it back, you'll see the logo kind of spins on screen. If I select that transition, I can change from where it spins and the angle at which it spins. Also, I wanna make it a little bit shorter. It's kind of a slow transition. Now let's check it out. Oh, that's perfect, I like it. Let's select the second transition, delete it, select the first one, hold down Option, click and drag and drop it over the end and let's see it animate out. What the heck, that's not what we want. Select the transition, go to the inspector, and for direction, change it from automatic to out. Now select the transition, and let's move the point to the other side of the screen, and let's change the angle. Now our guy comes on screen from the left, and then leaves to the right. So check out this transition I made. I'll click on Stupid Raisins, and I'll drag and drop this one. It's called Tile Pop. And what it does is it breaks up this video into little tiles and flips them, revealing the next one. If I select it, I can come in here and I can customize it a lot. I can say, I don't want it to start from the center. I want it to start from the upper left. And now look at this animation. It comes from the upper left down to the right. I can change the duration of it as well. And I can also change things like the box size and make them smaller. We can add more in and uh, more rows as well. I can tweak a lot of different things in here and get a really custom look. You can get this transition for free, plus some titles and effects in my all-star pack. It's worth $138, but I wanna give it to you for free. All you gotta do is click the link in the description below. Happy editing.